everyone, this video would focus on 180 degrees rotation around the origin. Please remember that when we say rotation, this is sometimes referred to as turn, or pretty much this is a type of transformation where the motion of the figure is around a fixed point. So the fixed point that we have here for 180 degrees rotation around the origin is the point of origin which is at zero, zero. Now we remember that when we rotate an object, we must choose a point, direction, and angle of rotation. So for 180 degree rotation around the point of origin, our fixed point is the point of origin, which is at zero, zero. The direction for 180 degree rotation doesn't really matter. So it can go clockwise direction or it can go counterclockwise direction. The direction doesn't matter. And the angle of rotation that we have here is 180 degrees. Now, before we jump into this example right here, we have some terms that we need to remember as we go through this video. So the first term is called a pre-image. This is referred to as the original figure. And the other term is image, which is the transformed or the new figure. So going back to the first example right here, we're supposed to graph the image of the given pre-image using the transformation given. So we're supposed to rotate this 180 degrees around the point of origin. So this figure that we have here is actually our pre-image. So this is the original figure that is given to us. So I'm going to label this as pre-image. And we are supposed to to draw the image after rotating 180 degrees around the origin. So the first thing that we are going to do is to write the coordinates of this pre-image. So I'm going to write the coordinates right here. Okay, so looking at this, our A is located at 3, 5. So I'm going to write the coordinate for that would be um, 3, 5. And then the coordinate for B, so this point right here is on 2, 2. So I'm going to write 2 and 2 right here. And the coordinate for C is at 5, 2. So I'm going to write um, 5, 2 right here. Now we are supposed to, again, uh, rotate this um, 180 degrees around the origin. So I'm going to label that um, up here. And so we are going to determine the coordinates of the image or the transformed figure. So I'm going to write that right here. Okay, so we are going to label this. So from A, we're going to label this as A prime. The, uh, the prime here refers to the new figure. B would be the B prime and C is the C prime. So the prime here is telling us that this doesn't have a prime. So that means that's the original coordinate. That's this point right here. When we say A prime after we rotated it 180 degrees around the origin. So we call this as A prime. So the new figure will all have primes on their um, coordinate. Now, there is a specific rule for 180 degree rotation around the origin. We remember that when we rotate a figure of 180 degrees about the origin in the either counterclockwise direction or clockwise direction, each point of the given figure has to be changed from x, y to negative x, negative y, or pretty much we are supposed to switch the sign of the coordinate. So in this case right here, so if I have here 3, 5, I will switch the sign of the x and the y. So this becomes negative 3, negative 5, since both of them are positive. Now, if we say the B prime, so that is a positive 2, positive 2. So I will write negative 2 and then negative 2. And then for C, this is positive 5 and um, positive 2. So I'm going to write negative 5 and negative 2. And then I am going to um, plot these points into this uh, uh, graph right here. So 
a prime would be a negative three, negative five. So that's negative three down to negative five. So this will be labeled as our a prime. So that's the new um, a the or, or the coordinate of the image. And then the b prime is a negative two, negative two. So it's going to be right here. And then the C prime is negative 5, negative 2. So that's negative 5, negative 2 right here. So this is our C prime. This is our B prime. So then we go ahead and connect this to create the triangle. So this triangle that we have created right here is our image. So that is after we rotated it 180 degrees around the origin. So pretty much what's, what's going on here is that we are rotating this triangle. So if I were to rotate this triangle, it doesn't matter if we rotate um, counterclockwise or clockwise direction. So what's going on here is that it rotates around the point of origin. So we're going to rotate it. And that's how it got its position down here. So it was rotated. Again, it doesn't matter if it's counterclockwise or clockwise direction. So then our A turns out to be this, um, or so the um, the coordinate of A, which is on the pre-image, turns out to be here after it has rotated 180 degrees. So this is the coordinate for the image and then the corresponding um, sides right here as well for B and C. So that's how we rotate 180 degrees around the origin. Again, it can be counterclockwise direction or clockwise direction. It doesn't matter for um, rotation. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we're supposed to graph the image of the given pre-image below using the transformation. Rotation 180 degrees around the origins. Again, this is our pre-image or this is the original um, picture that we are going to uh, rotate. Now, others are going to say, can we have a different figure instead of a triangle? Yes, it can be any shape. It doesn't matter. The rules still uh, would be the same. So we are going to uh, write the coordinate of the pre-image. Okay, so we're going to write the coordinate here. Our A is on negative 5, 5. So I'm going to write negative 5, 5. And then our B is located at negative 2, 5. So that's negative 2, 5 right here. And our C is located on negative 5, 2. So that is negative 5 and 2 right here. And our point D is located at negative 1, 2. So I'm going to write negative 1 and 2 here. Now we are, again, we are supposed to uh, rotate this 180 degrees around the origin. And so we are going to determine the coordinates of the image. So I'm just going to write it down here. Okay, in order that we can determine the coordinates of the image or the new figure, we remember the rule for rotation at 180 degrees around the origin. When we rotate a figure of 180 degrees about the origin in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction, each point of the given figure has to be changed from x, y to negative x, negative y, or pretty much we are supposed to switch the sign of the x and switch the sign of the y. So in this case right here, we are going to write a prime that's for the image. So a prime, then b prime, we have c prime and d prime. Again, the uh, prime here is telling us that it's the new picture. And if it doesn't have a prime, that means that the original coordinate. So again, this is the original coordinate, the one that has no prime on it. And if we have an a prime, that means we are referring to the new image. So we're going to flip the sign or switch the sign of the x and y. So pretty much since this is a negative 5, I'm going to write a positive 5 and then... Since this is a positive 5, I will write a negative 5. So again, we switch the sign. This is a negative 2, so I'm going to write positive 2. 
and then I'm gonna have a negative five because that's a positive five, switch it. This one right here is a negative five, so I will write five, and then this is a um, positive two, so that becomes a negative two, and then this is a negative one, so I'm gonna write one, and then this is a positive two, I will write a negative two. So these are the coordinates of the image or the new picture. So then we're ready to sketch this. So we're gonna uh, write the A prime first, which is at five, negative five. So the X is five and it goes to negative five right here. So this is our A prime. Our B prime is located at two, negative five. So two, negative five. So this is our B prime. Our C prime is at five, negative two. So it's right here. So this is uh, C prime, and our D prime is located at one, negative two. So that's one, negative two. This is our D prime. So this is the image. So the original picture, again, is called the pre-image, and we labeled it up here. This is our image right here, or the new picture after we transformed it, or after we rotated it 180 degrees around the origin. So if we were to look at this, the original picture looks like this. And if we are going to rotate this around the point of origin, so if we were to rotate this, this is how the figure is going to look like and that's where it's going to sit. So it has rotated clockwise direction or uh, again, it, it doesn't matter. It can rotate the other way around. It's still the same. It's either clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.